What's up, Barnhill family, and welcome back to the channel. Yo, yo. So, Nick, this week's co-main event is my personal favorite fight on the card. We're going to have Neil Magny versus one of my favorite up-and-coming fighters, Shavkat Rachmanov. And I think this guy is just as promising as Hamzat Chemaev, although he doesn't steal quite as many headlines. Yeah, and he's got quite an impressive record. Undefeated, 15 wins and zero losses. And, you know, he, I think he might have a eight submissions or seven submissions and eight KOs. However, it's laid out. Very balanced. Basically a hundred percent finishes and he's always looking for an entertaining way to finish his opponent and neil magny obviously he's fought everybody everybody knows neil magny and he's been trying to get these difficult fights that everybody seemed to be avoiding back when nobody wanted to fight hamza chemaev he was you know the guy saying let me fight him let me get my shot at him and while i think that was probably a rough matchup and in hindsight it's probably better that he didn't get it he might have been dealt from the bottom of the deck from the ufc by getting rachmanov because he could be even more impressive and more talented than, than chemaev with way less of the star power as of right now yeah and anybody who watches this channel knows just how hot you and i both are on hamza chemaev so for me to say that i believe rachmanov is every bit as good really does say a lot and i do believe that to be true i mean when you look at the balance of finishes as you said half submissions half ko's and it's not even just you know that 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 number just is staggering and it speaks for itself but he's won fights uh via pulling guard when he has a guillotine locked up he's won via ground and pound he can just stand up and bang with you i think his stand up is just about as good as anybody's at 170. But I think we need to give some credit to Neil Magny here. Even if he loses this fight, and I am going to predict that he loses, I think Rachmanov is going to continue his undefeated streak. Neil deserves some credit at minimum. I mean, he's the only guy that says, I'll take Chemaev or I'll take Rachmanov, two undefeated guys that he could easily avoid given his track record. And he's saying, don't just give me one of them, give me both of them, and I don't care in which order. Right, and before the Gilbert Burns fight, nobody was really saying anything about Hamzat. You know, if they had a fight booked already, Maybe they'd chirp at him a little bit because that would help them get in the news cycle. But, you know, Chemayev showed a little bit of not really a chink in his armor, but showed that he is actually human. That's what right. we saw in the Gilbert Burns fight. And so now everybody's calling him out. Well, the difference between Rachmanov and Chemayev is Rachmanov is still relatively unknown to the casuals out there and to the to the mainstream. But for us people that, you know, follow the sport, and he's the, one of the most highly touted prospects that the sport's seen in quite some time. I personally think that in a couple of years, we're going to see a, a title fight at 170, likely, or top, top contender match between Rachmanov and Chemayev. And those two trains are bound to crash into each other at some point. I hope it's sooner than later, but also I do hope that there's a lot on the line. I think that both of them are championship caliber fighters. And when they finally get up to the very, very top of the division, top of the sport, and maybe Usman has retired because he's done cleaning out the entire division, we're going to have these two guys be the next wave of the 170 division. And I personally would love to see that fight happen. Not putting the cart before the horse. Obviously, they both have a lot of work to do before they are fighting each other for a title. But uh, Neil Magny is an appropriate next step for Rachmanov. I do think he's going to kind of dominate this fight you know neil magny's a great striker and he's pretty good at using his range but he does get taken down and when you go with uh, somebody like rachmanov who knows how to finish the fight from the bottom and uh and and is really lethal with the ground and pound you wind up in a lot of trouble yeah, and I don't want people to make the mistake that if Rachmanov comes out and defeats Neil Magny and it looks easy, that this was, in fact, an easy fight. Because Neil Magny is good everywhere. I mean, he is an absolute veteran of the sport. He's got great crisp striking. He's got a never-ending gas tank. I don't think I've ever seen Neil Magny get tired in a fight. He himself has good ground and pound. He can also submit you. He's got long, lanky arms. He's got darts chokes. He's got guillotines just the same. So I think that he is a real tough next step for Rachmanov. I just believe Rachmanov is that good and he's going to make this this fight look easy, but it will be anything but that. And 170, as you said, I believe that, that Chemayev and Rachmanov are absolutely on a collision course. And it's really kind of easy to draw a lot of comparisons between the two of them. They fight in the same division. They came about around the same time, both undefeated, similar records, all finishes, both from the same area, general area of the world. But then you got guys like Sean Brady, you know, he's in the division. He's coming up. How is he going to fit into the mix? Kevin Holland just looked pretty damn good. And I know Kevin, we, we've seen him exposed before on the ground. And I think Rachmanov and Chemayev could certainly do that. But, you know, he's a big name at 170. He's going to continue to make his way up into the through the rankings. 
I, I don't think there's any division in the sport right now that's more exciting than 170 pounds. Yeah, and any any division that's primed to have a future that we can yeah. just clearly see. You know, a lot of the divisions in the UFC right now have one or two great new names that are in there, and they're kind of mixing it up with some of the old dogs and some of the current champs and, and current uh, legends in the sport. But um, 170 does seem like it's well taken care of for the for the coming years. And I think Rachmanov and Chemayev are going to be leading the way. Rachmanov is, in my opinion, going to go out there and get a, a decent finish. I think he's going to be looking to make statements here because he understands that he's sort of in the shadow of Chemayev right now. And, yeah. and even though Chemayev is so hot and literally one of the biggest things in the sport, we've realized he's human. This guy, if he comes out and he finishes Neil Magny, we could be looking at somebody who the masses get behind and they're like, Chemayev's awesome, but this guy's even more unstoppable. And they everybody wants to do that whole hipster notion of yeah. like, I knew him before he was even the, the big guy, right? Like right. Chemayev was cool last year when nobody knew about it, but now that everybody knows about him, I'm going to fly over to this Rachmanov guy. Right, yeah, you knew about Chemayev, but I know about this guy named Shavkat. He, right. He's even better and scarier, and you never heard of him, but right. I, I think we're all going to know who he is by the time uh, Saturday night is over with. And I think that Rachmanov is somebody who, if I'm going to make a prediction on this fight, going to do what is a very difficult thing to do and get a finish over Neil Magny. I'm thinking second round, I see the first round kind of staying on the feet because Rachmanov does like to demonstrate that he can hang on the feet. He's not just a grappler, as we've known from a lot of the, the people that come out of that part of the world. Their grappling skills are the first thing that comes to mind. But make no mistake about it, he can bang with the best of them at 170. So I think he's going to show his dominance on the feet in the first round. I think Neil Magny may even initiate the takedown in the second round because he's getting tagged. And I think that's where you'll see either a re reversal or just uh, some some sort of pin by Rachmanov and then he's going to finish with either some lethal ground and pound in the second round or potentially even a submission something to do with the choke head and arm triangle rear naked choke Dars choke something like that yeah I could see him rocking Magny and then Magny kind of getting desperate looking to close the distance and, and winding up in a submission uh, I, I'm looking for a KO out of him I think wow. he's trying to make a statement I think he wants to try to because Magny's known for being a great striker I think he wants to go out there and beat the, the, the best striker that he's had probably in the year UFC since he's been in there and personally Rachmanov is uh basically untapped treasure as far as the 170 yeah. division goes so I'm thinking he's trying to make a statement really push himself forward and elevate himself to where people are going to know who he is look he's in a co-main event spot right now with a big win here obviously you keep moving up he's probably going to venture onto a pay-per-view card or a uh, headline his own fight night very soon I think you're right Guys, drop us a comment and let us know, can Neil Magny, the veteran, defeat the undefeated Rachmanov, or is the Rachmanov train going to keep cruising down the tracks? Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.